Hi, Audacious Chairs. My name is Jason. I am based in the central Manchester campus with my husband Adam, overseeing New to Face. Currently, I am staying in Korea visiting my family, and it's a great honor to share the devotion with you today from Korea. My devotion title is Jesus is the Word, I believe. Thinking about who Jesus is in my devotion, it has brought back so many questions to me that I used to have before I came to Christ. I used to wonder who created the world, why gods of fortune tellers don't know the future, why some gods fight but lose the battles like a Greek myth, why do I need to bow down to the dead like a Buddha, and if not, why do they give me fear and so on. Also, I heard about a book written by somebody who had a conversation with God. What kind of God is that? As I wasn't even sure if God was real at that time. However, I was searching in my heart that there must be someone who would love me with unchanging love, and I was so desperate to be pure, not knowing how, as I couldn't reverse time in reality. When I read the Bible, the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I had a supernatural moment. The rays of the light were beaming from the Bible, and I sensed that this is the God I was searching for, and realized that it is written here that God created the world, but no one told me. My life was opened up to the new world. I learned that God called me by his word, so I started to read the Bible from Genesis literally, but not understanding. I felt like nothing was staying in my head, but I kept reading the book. Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. I was formless, void, and in the darkness like the earth without Jesus. I was living on earth, but was dead. I was working toward the judgment without knowing like people in Noah's time. What can be the judgment to me without Jesus or the salvation to me with my Savior Jesus? I have learned that the truth through the word written in the Bible. Also, I love reading the book of John chapter 1 verse 1 to 18 which teaches us that Jesus is the Word, which is to express that Jesus is God and a human being. John chapter 1, verse 1 to 4, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him, Nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Jesus is the eternal God who was with the Father together before the creation, and Jesus is the one who created everything following the Father's word. And after creating, he is the one who gave life. Jesus is the all-knowing God and is with us always. Jesus was with the Father but was separated from Father to come to earth. John chapter 1, 14 And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus is God, 
but also he is a true human, so he was able to be the giver of life, and he was able to become flesh. It doesn't mean the word from God's mouth became flesh. To sum up, Jesus is the word means that Jesus is God and Jesus was with God. Jesus is a human being like us and Jesus is the only begotten Son of God. Therefore, Jesus was the only one who can be the sacrificial offering for the sin of all humanity on the cross. Even though Jesus was God himself, he obeyed the Father's will till death. So Jesus Christ's highest glory is his cross. Romans chapter 5, 8 But God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. We are all at a different stage of our faithful journey, but for sure, we often face our struggles in various situations. We might feel it's never ending, or it's way too much, or I can't do this anymore. But the truth is that our hardship is manageable because God is with us and it's not comparable to what Jesus went through to carry the cross for our sins in our place. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 Therefore we all, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us looking unto jesus the author and finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and has it sat down at the right hand of the throne of god no matter what we were, God began a good work and brought the vision of God with the order of God, so we became a new creation in Christ Jesus. Jesus, who is omnipotent, omnipresent, and a holy God and love, died for us to move us from death to life in his abundant grace so that we can be resurrected with him to worship and praise him forever. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 Praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Have a blessed day church.